Hello, I'm Leslie Schreiner of Straw Hat Standards Dowsers and Dogs and Dharma. And this is my little Spitfire puppy, Rosie. And Rosie is gonna get some training today about how to be restrained so that the groomer can work on her. She's getting to be about the age where we need to start trimming away some of this fluff and some of the stuff. And she uh, is pretty exuberant and she gets, she doesn't like to have her face held a lot of the time. She's actually doing super good for that right now. So what I wanna teach is how to socialize your puppy to having their muzzle held, which is what as groomers we have to do to keep them safe uh, while we're scissoring around their eyes or their ears or their throat or you know anywhere in the face area. And it's also where a veterinarian will often have to lift up their head, lift up their shin to draw blood from the jugular vein. It's easier and safer, honestly, in a lot of cases than trying to do it from a foreleg. So these are all things that puppies need to learn. It's okay to have handling by somebody who's not mom or dad um, to do. And you know, if you hold the face, they don't like it, they fuss, they try to get away. So here's a trick to teach them that it's okay. Obviously, if you're holding the face and they're trying to get away, you have no choice but to either grip tighter or let go, neither of which is a good outcome. If you let them go, they learn to fight you more. And if you just keep gripping the face, it can be scary. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a collar on the dog already. I've got a little, a little strap collar on Rosie. And I'm gonna put my two fingers through right here at her throat. And they're hooked into the collar. So they're putting pressure on the back of the collar on the back of her head. Then I put my thumb over her nose. And now I start to do things. And if she fights me and she tries to back up or try and get her head away, there will be pressure from my fingers on the back of the collar on the back of her head. And I can just keep my thumb over the muzzle without having to squeeze to hold on. So it isn't scary, but I do persist and get my way. And she learns, she tries to struggle and dance and fight with me. And I have all the time in the world. And eventually she'll just give up and be like, dang. And that's when I'll say, good girl, good girl. Yeah, so she's struggling a little bit to get out. She's actually being super good and not the best demo puppy. You know, every other time I've tried to do anything with her, she's just like a demon fighting me. So, of course, you have to show me up on video. So anyway, fingers through the collar, your thumb gently over the muzzle. Maybe this is where you practice getting in the ears, you know? Maybe this is where you practice getting them used to having something near their eyes so that when the groomer goes in with a pair of scissors, they have the experience of something coming in close to their eyes and it's safe. If you don't do it at home, the groomer has to do it for the first time and the groomer doesn't have the relationship with the puppy that you do. And so it's a lot harder for the puppy to learn to be trusting in that situation and it makes the groomer's job a lot harder. So set your puppy up for success and get them used to being handled. Um, I'm gonna practice a little bit of lifting her head up. And what I'm doing is I'm holding the collar with my other hand, putting pressure just down a little bit. She fusses, that's fine, I don't let go. And I gently got her chin back up. Good girl, good girl. Keep it short and successful. Okay, hold on, here. Do it a few times a week at least. If you could do it a few times a day, that'd be fantastic. And your pet professionals, your groomers, your veterinarians will really appreciate it. And you may not know this, but right now there's a shortage of pet professionals. And we're only human, and we would rather not pick the dogs that are hardest to work with, honestly. So, Help yourself get better service by taking care of some of these socialization issues before you go into the groomer or the dog.